And as you work your way down the periodic chart, you can see how that noble gas configuration it makes things so much easier. So iron, and again, here's my noble gas right back here. So I'm going to do the full notation, but it's so nice to be able to just say, okay, put a bracket around that, and then just include these guys in the notation. <laughs> so that's really nice. So anyways, we are going to write out the full just so that we have it. You don't always have to write out the full before the orbital. It's just because we're, I'm reviewing this all, all at the same time, just a reminder. So again, we have to start at the top. So we have 1s2, and I'm going to try to write this small. So those are my two. Now we're on the second level. So 2s2. I'm still on the second level. And there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2p6. I may have to write this even lower. Third energy level, 1, 2. So 3s2 is what's going to go in that section. 3s2. And then over here, that's still 3. That's still on that same row. And that's the P's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3P6. Six. Hopefully you can tell that's a 3. Then we go over here, 4. And I've got 1, 2S electrons. So 4S2. Now, the D block it drops down if you remember in our picture we actually can put d electrons in the third energy level but there's a kind of a funny thing that goes on with the energies here and on all my periodic charts i just went through and i reminded myself what row that one's on and then i remind myself what row it continues in that row so like in the fifth energy level that would be like a four it's considered the fourth energy level. So this kind of, it's not that the, it breaks down, but you just have to remember that little trick. The periodic chart is a great way to do these configurations, but you have to remember that when you do the D block, it drops down a level. And the same thing happens in the F block. Some other videos coming up demonstrating this also. Uh, that you already saw that demonstrated this, but um, I always put this on my personal copy of the periodic chart for when I'm doing homework and such. So this is considered the third energy level and I'm in the D's, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, D6. And this is what I do is I, another way so I don't have to count, um, these numbers, isn't that weird? It's like all these funny little shortcuts match with, so like there's six there. Of course, this number doesn't. You have to go with this number the whole time. You can always just count over, but that's my funny little weird shortcut. And so I've got my configuration. Now I'm going to make this my orbital configuration. So I don't have a lot of room right here. So this is my 1s. So 1, 2. This is my 2s. 1, 2. This is my 2p. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is my 3s. 1, 2. This is my 3p. So I'm right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now I've got my 4S, 1, 2, and then my 3D. Remember, Hunter rule, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 electrons. And again, that looks confusing and crazy. This is the closest normal gas to iron. So his configuration is actually all the way on the 3 level, and it fills all the P's. So his configuration is actually this whole section right here. Or if you're looking here, it's this all the way over to here. Before we had neons, and it only covered this, this section. But when you have argon, it goes all the way over and fills all those three Ps. So our noble gas configuration version of this is pretend that none of these are here. And then we'll just write AR. Make sure you grab the right noble gas. And then we've got that configuration.